Hello everybody, it's Tincart, and today I have another redstone tutorial for everybody here. And this one is on how to make a super fast, super compact, super cool piston elevator. So, let's take a look at this thing in action. So you can see it's uh, very similar to most piston elevators. You're going to stand right in the middle here, press the button. go flying up and it'll push you out at the top. So before you yell at me, I'm sure, yes, this is very similar to some that are on the internet already, but I, I thought of it by myself without any outside interference, so I'm pretty sure that it's slightly different, or at least a variation of some of the things out there. I know it is pretty similar to one by um, a channel by the name of Ultimate Redstone, which you should check out, it's very cool. But this thing is tiny. It's 4x4, four four, and it realistically, the footprint is... It doesn't even have these two blocks in here, so that's a whole other area. This could just go right on top of the pistons. I just want it to be flat for you all to see. And like you just saw, it is really fast, because that is... Actually, I didn't ever really count how high that is, but um, it, it shoots you right up. And another um, great thing about this is it's also really, really simple. So the, each module is just just that, like that's it. So to build this thing, you are going... Oop, it involves a lot of torch towers, but torches are really super cheap. So the most expensive th thing in this is definitely pistons. So what you want to do is start with your sticky pistons in a zigzag facing forward like this I think I'll do... yeah that should be good for now and now what you want to do is have a torch tower let me get rid of this on this side with an empty block by every sticky piston like that and if you don't know what I mean by torch tower I will show you right now so you want a torch, 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 and I'm just going to do this all the way up, like that. And now what we want to do is do the exact same thing on the other side, but you'll see it is actually staggered because they are all one higher. Oops, did I just, huh, that was weird, played an extra sound. So we'll go all the way up and place our torches. Oh god. And on this side. Like so. So now you want to go ahead out front and place regular pistons facing up like that. You could use sticky pistons here, but you know, it's just unnecessarily expensive as in slimes, you don't need that much. So now you want to go one out and go one block up. So actually two blocks below that torch and one up. So two blocks out, one up. Ah, uh, you don't need one there. And now you want to just run one piece of redstone out to that block. So we're going to do the same over on this side. Two out, one up. Two out, one up. And two out, one up. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Okay, so that is the expandable part there, but now you need the part that actually starts the entire thing, which goes right here. So you want to take a repeater out of this block with a torch. You want to go right there. So you can see that's right under the very first piston. I like to start the lowest piston on this side because, I don't know, it's the one I've done more. Oops. So then you want this repeater going into a block with redstone on top like that so if we put the button here nice so it works perfectly already in the first take of this somehow I, I don't know I, I built it correctly but I mean obviously not because it it just didn't work so what we want to do <laughs> I was kind of annoyed is continue the torch tower up one more like that with a block another block Another block like that. And run redstone across. Two sticky pistons. 
two blocks, and that will finish off the top end of it. And like I said in the first, on the first one, you can go on top of the pistons like this with redstone. If you want to keep this part clear, but I just don't like the way that looks. I like it when it's um nice and flat like this. And the last thing that is necessary, but for the redstone, that is it. But what you need is, um, I'll just use glass again. You need a place for, like, a little wall outside here so you don't get pushed out of the machine while it's going. So then that is done. You want it just to be right alongside the elevator like that. Then you want a floor here. You need to leave a hole there for that piston to extend. I'll place one down here. And the final thing is your input. And this is the only part that looks a bit ugly, but you can put it however you want. I'm just putting it here. So you want this block to be the input block. So we're going to just shoot some redstone right into that, like so. And I believe it is done. Please work, please work, please work. Yeah, well this, I've had some weird um, glitches. I think it's while I'm recording, but this, that block just, or that piston just doesn't want to extend. Let's see if it'll work. Well, it worked that time, but that piston just, that, that piston's just a derby, stupid, stupid piston. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it's even doing, but that is the design, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this redstone tutorial. Definitely head over to my channel because there are lots more like it. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Your feedback really helps me. Bye-bye.